it, it's starting to shrink. We are concerned with movement patterns. We're concerned with normal human movement patterns, with squatting down and standing back up. And with picking stuff up off the floor and with pushing things up over the head, pushing things away from you, pulling things toward you. Those, these kinds of throwing things. These are the primary movement patterns that we are concerned with. And if we get those strong, then we get you strong. Because that's how you express your strength. Your ability to produce force against an external resistance is expressed in those fundamental human movement patterns. So if we strengthen them, the movement pattern, then we strengthen the human. All right? The idea of body parts came from here. Body part thinking came from these magazines. All right? And it's, it persists today. It persists today among people that don't even know where it came from. Instruction. The 60-inch chest barrier by Lou Ferrigno. Posing My Way by Ed Corney, who was a you know, mid-level bodybuilder, but he was an older guy, looked pretty good, but had a, a, a way of posing that nobody else did. Posing is when you show, is when men show other men their muscles. Now, that makes me uncomfortable. <laughs> I don't know about you, but it's always made me uncomfortable. And I, I, I don't know what you'd call that discomfort. There's probably a word for it that other people besides me would use. All right. Now, no frills calf workout. It's right? important. Because you're, your calves are separate from everything else, right? But abdominal training by Dennis Tenorino. Now, these guys didn't write these articles. Of course not. <clears throat> You know, they, they didn't asked write a few these questions articles. and then they extrapolated an article. And they just, you know, they had staff writers that wrote all these articles and they'd hire the guy to, and they'd put his pictures on the article. The genius, and, the genius behind this is all is that uh, how do you run out of stuff to talk about? You don't. You man. don't because you've got all these exercises, you've got all these body parts, you've got all these guys who have a specialty. You know, it's awesome. Great idea. It is brilliant marketing. Yeah. And then the rest of the magazine, with very few exceptions, the rest of the magazine was ads placed in the magazine by the publisher of the magazine, by the Weeder organization, selling you his merchandise, mm -hmm. his shitty training equipment, and belts, but primarily supplements. Yep. Primarily protein powder and vitamins and all kinds of other things these guys dreamed up to sell to kids that wanted to look like the boys in the magazine. All right? Uh, let's see. Here is uh, features. Here's a low-fat diet from Susan Bressler. Cycling the Power Lifts by George Elder. They paid lip service to the Power Lifts in the muscle magazines every once in a while uh here's a, a women's section in this month the january of 81 uh intensity training by betty weeder who's joe's wife gorgeous model that he hired uh early in the magazine to do the women's part of the thing. They later got married under some circumstances. Uh, trimming the Waist by Mandy Tanny. Uh, you know, they're, the muscle magazines are, are and still and, and still persist with the idea that low body fat is a result of your training when it's, in fact, a dietary function almost exclusively a dietary function i think without even looking oh, at and, a, a, and not even that it's 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 the result of your genetics a fat guy is never going to be a contest bodybuilder it doesn't occur but if you uh 
if you think that you can use a weeder product to either exercise or supplement your fat off, then you will buy those products. Because you are looking at a magazine full of pictures of guys with low body fat, and the magazine is telling you that you too can look this way if you will merely do the following things. You got to do arms the way these guys do arms. You got to do chest the way these guys do chest. You got to train your abs a certain way. You got to do quads and hamstrings and calves the way these guys train using their equipment. And if you're bought in, like a lot of us were, this was a brilliant marketing plan for a little tiny niche in the manufacturing business. And I mean, this, you know, and and I'm talking to you about this today, and if you're anywhere close to my age and you've been paying attention to this all your life, you know exactly what I'm talking about. All right? I did it. You did it. We all did it. We thought about body parts. And we thought that you could run off a bunch of body fat while at the same time maintaining muscle mass, which you can't do. You know, and sooner or later, everybody bought into the idea that, well, I want to get this done because I want to look like Robbie Robinson or great Ron Tufel or, you know, the Mincer brothers or, you know, and I want to look like that. And what I'm doing is not working. So you know what I think I'm going to do? I think I'm going to take some steroids. Because I've heard that that's what they do. And that is, in fact, what they did. And, you know, it's just the way things are. Right? It's funny because without even looking at a modern magazine, we could we could reasonably guess what's in it. It's exactly the same it's as a, what's in that. Plus, it's the same. Thing. Well, and what you'll have now is just is is uh, supplement talk, right? There'll be way more articles mm-hmm. about supplements. The same articles but, uh, are being the same. written. Yep. And it serves yeah. the same purpose too. It's to sell. It's to sell supplements. You know, and uh, you know, join us this week for Start Your Strength Radio. We're going to talk about a couple of very, very important topics that revolve around these things I got on the desk here. These are muscle magazines from a long time ago. And they have given you the wrong impression about several important things if training is your interest. All right? We're going to discuss this at length on the next Starting Strength Radio.